What's up guys? Justin here with the OnlineBusinessEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to talk about how to add a custom domain and change the Kajabi domain of your Kajabi website. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is really kind of a two part. So I'll bookmark this down below. So if you want to jump ahead to the custom domain piece, you can definitely do that. And, but I'm on my dashboard right now. And if I jump over onto my website, right, and I click on this, I've got my main website set up, at least generally. And what I want to do is I want to publish this, but right now we've got a little bit of an issue. And so if I was to click on the preview option right here, notice how at the moment, this has just created kind of this like generic justin guys at mykajabi.com, which is not necessarily what we want, right? We usually want this to be your website name, .mykajabi.com, or later on, we'll talk about how to set up that custom domain. And so what we want to do is we want to adjust this URL inside of our site details. And so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to click on the option for site details right here. And so notice how this gives me information about my site details. But what I want to do is I want to click on the option for manage domain. And so when I do that, that's going to give me two options, right? The first is it's going to give me the ability to change the Kajabi domain that I have selected. And so let's say, for example, that I didn't want a custom domain. I just wanted a Kajabi one. Well, what I can do is I can click in the little pencil right here and notice how I can come in here and I can rename this. So I could take this and I could say the online business essentials dot I'm going to click on the save button right here. Well, notice how now my domain has been changed so that um, this is what my new domain for my website is. So now my website name actually shows up as the online business essentials dot instead of justin dash guys dot mikejobby.com. Now, Let's say that we don't wanna do that, right? We don't want a Mike Kajabi website. We want just the online business essentials.com. Well, what you can do is within your site details, you can set up a custom domain. And so in order to do that, I'm gonna click on the option for manage domain right here. And down below, there's the option for set up custom domain. And so what we wanna do is we wanna connect our website to a domain that we own. And so there's really two options in here, and these are actually both valid options. Um, so uh, the first one is you just want to use Kajabi as your overall website, right? So you want your Kajabi URL to be whatever.com. In this case, it's going to be the online business essentials.com. Um, you could also set this up where it's a subdomain, meaning that you could host your website like, like a WordPress website or something like that. But then you could have this as a section of your website. So courses.theonlinebusinessessentials.com and you could use Kajabi just as kind of the course area there. In this case, we wanna go ahead and we wanna go with the first option. So I'm gonna click on this and it's gonna ask for information about my domain. And so just a quick note, I've purchased this domain through Bluehost, but you can use a number of third-party websites in order to do that, like HostGator or GoDaddy, or th there's a ton of them out there. So um, you can really use any of those to purchase a domain name. It's probably not gonna matter to you all that much. And what we wanna do is we just wanna type in our domain name, right? And so in this case, this is the domain name that I've purchased. And so now you need to sign in to whatever your domain provider is. For me, I use Bluehost. So I'm gonna jump over into Bluehost real quick. All right, so in Bluehost, I'm gonna to go to the domains that I own. I'm gonna to go to my domains. And we're gonna go down and we're gonna find that site. And we're gonna click on manage. And this is gonna be slightly different depending on the hosting provider that you use. But in this case, we wanna go into the DNS settings. And so it's got these name servers. Right, And what we want to do is we want to replace these name servers with the Kajabi name servers. So we're just going to click on edit. We're going to click on custom. So one thing to be aware of is this can interrupt your email service. And really, if you make this change, you're going to have to migrate your email settings over to Kajabi in the future anyway for things to continue working. So just be aware of that. We can talk about that in a future video if you're interested. And then I'm going to place the new name servers in here. Remember, Kajabi gives us these. So we can just click on this and do a control V, we can click on this and do a control V just like this. And then we just wanna click on save. And so now I've got that all done over here in Bluehost. Now I'm gonna go back into Kajabi. And I'm gonna click on done verify domain. 
All right, so initially when you do this, you're gonna get this message saying that this is connecting and um, that you need to wait for a little while. What I ended up having to do is wait for a bit and then refresh the page. And then when I did that, everything showed up working just fine. But notice how now I'm getting this check mark in here in my domain settings saying that my custom domain is con connected. What that means is that means that now this domain and this domain are going to point to my website. So if I go to the online business essentials.com, which is the site that I was talking about, notice how now this is showing up with that custom domain. Now, one thing to note about that is the online business essentials.mykajabi com is still active as well. So that Kajabi domain is still a thing. And so in addition, now if we go in here to like our pages and we add a new page, so I click on new website page right here and we're just gonna call this test page. We'll click on customize page and we'll go ahead and leave this as is, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And so now we've created this page. Well, if we click in here, we copy that URL and we paste it into our bar. Notice how now whatever you name that page goes after the slash. So whatever new pages we create now, um, those are gonna show up as slash whatever your page name is under your custom URL. So you can use this to start organizing your website under your custom domain with Kajab. And one other thing to be aware of is just be aware that when you change all of this with your site domain, your email isn't going to work anymore. So you do need to set up your custom email domain within Kajabi as well for your email to continue to work. So just be aware of that when you're making that change, you do need to make sure not only do you set up the custom domain, you also set up the email sending. We can talk about this in a separate video if there's interest. So leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions about anything we talked about. It's a pretty easy setup process. If you do want to give Kajabi a try, um, I've linked to a 30 day free trial on this page where you can go in there and kind of play around with it if you're interested in doing that. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.